Hello beautiful people. So today we're doing a dining table decoupage. This is my dining table and I'm really excited for it. Um, you're gonna need some supplies. You're gonna need a sander. Uh, you're gonna need to sand everything down that is going to get any paint or any decoupage. You want that, you know, that raw surface. After you're done with your sanding, you're going to want to wipe everything down. You could use vinegar, you could use just water. I use 409. Then I sprayed everything down with this metallic can here. Turns out really, really great. You don't want to overcoat it. One to two coats at max is perfect. Just a side note. Do not paint the areas that you're going to be decoupaging. The decoupage won't stick to the spray paint as well as it will to the raw wood surface. All right, so here I have American Decor Cream Wax. I This ended up being an unnecessary step. I ended up painting over it with the uh, clear gloss I've got kind of right next to me. Um, it leaves this kind of matte finish, which is really nice and really pretty, it just wasn't what I was looking for for this project. You are going to need polycrylic or any type of glue adhesive substance. This is the one I most prefer, a brush. And you're also going to need photographs. I decided to get a bunch of painted artworks from all of my favorite artists. Then you're gonna to wanna to place them. Placement is very important. So take your time, do this, and what I suggest, something I forgot to do and didn't think about doing until much later, is marking where all the photos go. So taking a pencil and literally just drawing on the table, like, okay, so this white picture here, it goes between this area and then this picture, you know, put a line on top of that picture showing where the other photos are going to go laying on top of it. By the time this was done, I my table looks completely different, but I mean it looks just as great. It's just it didn't look the way I had laid it out. Here I messed up. If you can see, okay watch, I don't push from the middle, I push from the very bottom with my card. You don't need a brayer. I don't think a brayer is necessary. I think that if you just do the process of squeegeeing out all of the glue from underneath it, you will be fine. So that picture right there is the most bumpy picture I have on my table. Um, and it was just because I did it wrong. You're also gonna wanna pay attention to your edges. So making sure that they line up and that the edges of the picture doesn't overlap the edge of the table. Um, so I recommend maybe doing it a little bit inward or like just perfectly on the edge, you know, have some scissors with you. It took me a little while to kind of get used to the process. Here I'm, you know, you want to paint the table and you also want to paint the picture. You can see that I laid the picture side of it on the glue and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you're just going to squeegee it off in, you know, two seconds anyways, so it doesn't make much of a difference. Here, I had already done about a quarter of the table and I started to really get the hang of it. Um, and you want to make a star shape with the card going from the middle outwards in every direction. So I start off making an X and then a plus sign and then I you know, go through the in-between areas and I just kind of make sure that it's completely flat. You're gonna wanna look at it from an angle and just make sure that it's completely against the table because anything you leave behind will stay. Any bumps, any wrinkles, anything like that, that'll stay there. So you don't really necessarily have to work extremely quickly, but you do wanna work, you know, at a, at a, at a decent pace. Here you can see the wrinkles that are in the page and how they just kind of disappear. After you're done squeegeeing out all of the glue from underneath the image, you're going to be left with little pools of glue kind of around the image on the other pictures. 
you're gonna wanna make sure you get all of that up. So look at it from an angle and make sure you got all of those. Otherwise, you're gonna be left with dried clumps of glue all over your table and then you're gonna have to like sand them off unless you're looking for like an antiqued look which I mean could be cool um, but that's not what I was going for here at this point I have already done two layers of gloss on this table the first layer I put a very very light coat of gloss just because I didn't want to oversaturate the images that were on the table before there was any kind of protective surface over them. Once that layer dried, I did one more layer, kind of poured that out in the middle, realized I should have done it more towards the edges. And this here is my third layer of gloss. It's gonna be my final layer of gloss and I'm just pouring that all over the edges and smearing it out all over everywhere. Um, I really should have put a tarp down because it's, it dripped down, you know, below, which, you know, it, it is what it is. It's fine. And then what I do next is I take a step back and I look at the table and I try to look for any areas where I missed and here you can actually kind of see it. I missed that area with blue. And once I've done that, I go through and I just go back and forth really lightly with my brush to kind of remove any bubbles. Hello beautiful people. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. Um, there's going to be another video and it's going to be of the chairs. So if you were curious as to you know what I did for the chairs, I will be making that video soon. At this point, I have not even started making them yet. So once that's done, I will put a link right in here if you'd like to see what I've done um, with the chairs. Please please like and subscribe. Um, please, you know, if nothing else, leave a comment. Your guys' feedback helps out a lot because, you know, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Um, yeah. So after this, I'll post a picture of what the, the final product looked like. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.